when you create a object like a sphere or cylinder on the viewport first i exit from the cylinder tool by right click you can see glowing line around the object and some stick line also available there these stick line called selection bracket if you click outside to deselect that object that glowing line and selection brackets are not available now if you hover your mouse on the object you can see a glowing line start showing if i hover my mouse on the slender object you can see this glowing line if i click selection brackets also start showing if you want to turn off the selection bracket keyboard shortcut is shift j so by pressing shift j you can turn off these selection bracket in case if you want to turn off these glowing edges you can also do so first click on the customize menu then click on the preferences in the preferences panel click on the viewport tab there is a option for highlight a object selection slash preview highlights if you turn off this checkbox you can turn off these glowing lines sometime when you click on the plus icon there is a option disable viewport by mistake it will click so you can see disable is mentioned here if you create any object by using remaining three viewport like i create a box object by using this top viewport you can see this box in the top left and front viewport but it's not available in the perspective viewport because it's a disabled viewport if you click on this viewport by scroll wheel it will immediately update if you want to turn off this disabled viewport click on the plus icon again and then uncheck this option if you create a object by using this top viewport i create a box again you can see this box also start showing in the perspective viewport now i exit from the box tool so i right click in the last class we click on the menu and then click on this gray color line so that menu start floating like this same as you can also create a floating viewport i show you click on the plus icon in the bottom side there is a option float viewport you can create up to three floating viewport so i click on the floating viewport one and here you can see in this floating viewport prospective viewport is assigned in case if you want to assign any other viewport like bottom you can see these object from the bottom side you can use this floating viewport to assign a camera scene so you can easily see the changes now i close this floating viewport 